All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have to apologize in advance. Um, my voice acting may be a little weak, as you guys know in the last few parts. I've been cranking them out because I've just been enthralled, and um, that has not stopped. I'm going to do my best to voice act every character, but I need to beat this game. I really need to beat this game. Dude, like, what's going on? I have no fucking clue, like, what happened to me in college. Oh my god. B? Oh my god, May? Holy shit, May. It's me! You came back to life. I don't I don't think she was dead. Peace out, party! I'm feeling woozy. You should, you should go lay down. You can sleep in a bit. I feel kind of weird about that. How about the couch? Do I have to stop laying? <laughs> no. Sound is good. Her mom said it, it's okay to keep her here. I'll drive her home later. So she just like wandered out of her house? Yeah, and all the way here. Jeez. Lucky she didn't pass out there. What the fuck has happened? I'm so confused. I thought she was taken. I sure hope she's alright. Um. Both of you, shh. No. What? It's left, not north -east. Sorry guys, I need a deep breath. So how well did you know this guy? We order pizza, what, like twice a week? At least. From out by the highway now, since possibilities closed down. I thought you two were trying to save money. What? Don't police our lifestyle, B. Okay, well just as long as we're sure it's the delivery guy is safe. I could spot him through the keyhole. If it's not him, we'll turn off the light. And I guess we'll hide in here until we die. <laughs> Alright, as long as there's a plan. Hello? Look who's awake. Mm, it's the pizza guy. Pizza's here. So what happened? He called the cops. Your aunt and some guy finished you, fished you out of the woods. You were like in a coma. Did you die? Nah. No, I just took a, a very long nap. Nice. Uh, yeah, nice. I had this dream, or like a vision, or I time traveled, I don't know. I was like in and out of consciousness. Can you eat? You should. <laughs> you should eat. I don't know if I can. Are we gonna barf? Sorry, Bob. You scared us to death, honey. Sorry, Bob. We'll come pick you up. No, it's cool. I'm just gonna sleep here. B is there? B is here. Okay. I'll be back in the morning. Have me drive you home. I will. May? I know. Give us a call if you need to come home. I will. Love you up. Love you too, sweetie. I still don't know what the fuck is going on. I look so hungover. Hello, Angus, you beautiful bitch. You want a brownie? No, I can't really eat right now. Like, I'd puke, but there isn't anything in there. 
So I'd like pick my actual guts out. All right, you need your guts. For the moment, at least. Dude, weak, huh? You can say that. When we get out of this. I don't know if we're gonna get out of this. But even if we don't, and we're all ghosts, we should hang out more. Deal. What even was that game? Werewolf Shred the North 3. What? Well, I played that at Casey's house years ago. I played it yesterday at home. Cool. Oh. They've got, oh, they've got Wi-Fi. Nice. It's like, where a real place? At least within range. I don't even have a phone because of this place. With 18,000 here. Hey, May. Yeah. I'm really glad you're not dead. Me too. Yeah. 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 Can we all hit the sack? Cool, I'll be right out. Hey kids, can we do lights out now? I'm gonna drop over. Oh, I'm sorry, I need the microphone. Yo, dude. Sounds good. See y'all tomorrow. You sure it's safe for you to leave? None of this got anything to do with me. No weirdos following me around. Oh, right. See ya. Bye, Jerb. Girl. Do you know why I beat down Andy Cohen six years ago? No. We weren't talking then, and I thought it'd be weird to bring it up now, and... I was playing this video game, you were, like, dating ghosts or something. Oh. And I was really into it. I played it like 24-7. Until this one afternoon. And suddenly something broke. Broke? It was just like pixels. The characters on screen, I felt like I knew them. They weren't people anymore. They were just shapes. And their lines were just things someone had written. They never existed. They never had feelings. They never would exist either. And I felt so sad. Like, it, I just lost these real people. There was this whole thing we had, just me alone. And, like, this realization dumped down on the screen and into real life. Went outside the tree, out the front. I looked at it every day, and I was like a friend outside the window. Now it was just a thing. It was just a thing that was there. Growing and eating and just being there. Like all the stuff I felt about the tree. It's just in my head. And there was some guy walking by. And he was just shapes. He was like, just like a moving bulk of stuff. I cried. There's nothing there for me anymore. I just felt like all this just stuff in the universe. Just dead. Well, that's, uh... And now the next day, a softball game, and Andy Pitcher knew I was up. He was just shapes too. Just lines someone wrote. Like nothing in there. Just scared and angry, I just don't know. For I knew when I was on top of him, smashing him in his face with a bat. Just shapes. Red shapes all over the grass. Oh my god, May. Have you talked to anyone about this? After it happened, they made me go to therapy. Dr. Hank. Oh, God. He's the worst. He made me start a journal. A journal? 
Yeah, you kind of just said it would help me be able to get my thoughts down. Did it, did it help? Well, kind of, sort of. But since the whole thing happened where I'm alone in a new place, it's all shapes back up in the softball game. I was doing fine at college for a while. But I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or around with people alone. And there was this statue of, of like, the founder or something. It's a really shitty statue. Like, all rusty metal. And it was all shapes. And he's pointing down at me. And I was so scared I didn't want to leave my room. I either didn't eat or I ate pizzas at once. I downed cough syrup just to sleep all the time. I finally got the courage to to leave. And I came down where everything was fine. Where I knew where everything was. And it wasn't every just dead shapes watching me. Jeez. Jeez. Something broke in my head in my life. I don't know. I don't mean, uh, like, whatever, but... It sounds like you're suffering for some serious stuff. And I, like... And, like, I can help you find some help for it. Dr. Hank already tried. I think Dr. Hank should stick to family medicine and dentistry. And the other half dozen of things he does. And maybe leave the mental health service to someone else. Like there are a dozen things, depression and anxiety, like, I don't know. What you're going through, it exists. I, I thought, when I came home, I just feel so safe here. Everything made sense for days. And then all this. And all. And, and, shh, shh. It's gonna be okay, Meg. Figure this out. I'm so scared. I know, we're all scared. But we're gonna make it okay. Just need to get some sleep. Hi. Everyone passes out. And hopefully my coffee is now cold enough to drink. Triple dot. Oh my gosh, she's still awake. She can't sleep. Bye, guys. Love you. What? She's leaving? <laughs> I push literally the opposite direction every time, I swear. What are you? Are you an actual ghost? Or just some guy? What is this thing in my head? Why are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk. Fine, let's do this. Boom. Get away from her, you piece of shit. You're all numbered asshole. Ah, you shot me. And we'll call. And can all use both our arms. I will personally dis disable you. Oh, jeez, me. Ah. What the fuck? You okay? Where did... You are such an idiot. What were you thinking coming out here all alone? It's all because of me. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you the one putting... on a dumb costume and following me around and kidnapping people, maybe? And that's your fault now? It's in my dreams. Hey, kiddo. We're out here. Outside your head. Whatever's going on there, I believe in you. But I'm gonna let you wander off into the woods. 
Or I'm not gonna let you wander. God damn it. I can't read. But I'm not gonna let you wander off into the woods. Die. Okay. We're all in this now. And even if we weren't, I'd still be out here with you. Me too, obviously. Clearly, clearly all of us would be. Listen, May. I'm all for the family and my dad has left. I'm for damn sure I'm not dying out here. And you're... God, you're the closest thing I have to a sister. Oh my god. Sorry. I don't want you to be gone. So you're not dying either. <laughs> that sounds okay. By me. Well, he's wounded. Sounds like he went back up the line. Yeah, what do we do? Follow him, I guess. Let's see, why does this matter? They're like both the same thing. You all wait here, I'll go. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. If he's up in the mine, we might be able to corner him and tie him up or something. Can you walk me? I think so. Might be a little slow. I'll need to help you if you need it. Thanks, big guy. All right. Let's go do something really stupid. Gates open. Oh, jeez. But. We could, like, block it or shut it or something. Oh, dang. You're right. No. I have to go down in there. Well, then. Looks like all of his friends are gone. Just one guy. Just one guy. Just one something. Bang, bang. Whoa. What is happening? Ah! Well, this isn't dangerous or anything. Haha. Uh -huh. Nothing to be scared of down here. Just a, just a, just a party. <laughs> Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. Come on, gang. Let's push in. Let's make him regret everything about life. Oh, that coffee's good, guys. Uh, oh, oh. Looks like there's an elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. He's gonna hear us coming from a mile away. We sure he wants us to do this? Yeah, I bet you sure. Guys, I don't know if you understand. Cough! He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything's dying or dead already. I don't know what's gonna happen down there. Okay, then. We'll, we'll come out this far together. Oof! That thing looks old. They haven't used this mine for like a lot of years. Generations even. Are you our tour guide now? My gosh, sorry guys. I'm really just dying on the inside. We have Possum Springs tourism pamphlets at the tour shop. And I get bored. This isn't the brochure. Well, here we are. Cough. Me. <laughs> Me, are you okay? I have my inhaler. No, I'm fine. It's, it's just like... It's just like something's huge is on top of me. I mean, technically, you're not wrong. Is it like asthma? Is it like how asthma is? It's not asthma, big guy. But thanks. Shh. I heard something. 
Something sounds there. You have go you're going to be okay, May. Yeah, I'm all right. We should just be quiet. Yeah, I gotta save up for the screaming later. <laughs> True. Door. Door! Hold the door. Tunnel. Whatever. Here we go! Sorry. Oh, jeez. What is this place? Looks like a church or something. And like junk. Oh god! Oh god! What is it? It's here! It's here! Oh god! What is it? I don't know, but it's here! It's through there! I know you're in here. Say something. What well, about this? Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Show yourself. Yeah, asshole. Like five times scarier than you. Bomb, bomb. There they are. They're right there. I'm going to kill them. I do or would do no such thing. It's out of your hands now. He shot me! Then I'd say we're even. Little girl shot at the... Got shot at the other night. Yeah, sorry about that. You're apologizing? It was a bad call. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. You didn't actually hear me, so wait. Wait, who are you? Bunch of old boys doing their damnedest to protect their own neighbors. Then why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? Nobody's gonna kill you. All of you are a part of this town. My family relation are just being hard workers contributors um okay so we could just leave well we brought you down here for a reason and he's not gonna leave until he's had his say well he's already got an arrow through his shoulder I don't think he's gonna be much having much say in whatever wait so you think that Eddie he kidnapped that kid at Harfest. He bit in my head somehow. I'm always tired, constant headaches. He's been following me, following all of us. He's... Oh, little girl. You don't know what you're... This... What? What? Oh, God. I've seen this. Or I felt it. Was Ed Scooter and Jim Dorney who found it? 20 years back or so. After West, this mine closed past Brittle. Last Schumacher, last supervisor, was out when the company locked off the entrance. Carved his initial in the date in the door. Look, I, I've, I've basically said fuck it to the voice acting of the cloaked people at this point. Look, I just need to get through this game. You got this mine, the old one. Not even a proper mine. Big hold copper. Abandoned shoot long before any of us were born. 
too close to water. And that water was poison. Then the first settlers came out here. The old springs used to be right here above where we were standing. But that water dried up. 1992 or so, some men went west mine. Came back here trying to bootleg it. Practically built a new elevator. Got the main tunnel cleared. Never found out coal. Just dug deeper and deeper. Till and busts through and finds this place. And Jim walks right through that hole. And never hits the bottom. It calls down to Jim. Jim don't answer. But someone else does. And I know you heard that voice, girl. In dreams and walking and waking times. SWAT brought you down here. So what does this have to do with you, me, or anyone? You gotta understand, in those days, it was the end of the world. Jobs gone, our kids were leaving, government didn't care or wanted our votes. Just putting in more regulations, sending our jobs overseas, spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants, while we worked ourselves to death. Ugh, here we go. Goddamn, I hate this crap. The old, you old dipshits. You finished? Yeah, sure. We prayed and prayed up at the church. But when Ed Scudder came back down here and listened, he got answers back. <laughs> oh god, I think I know. Uh, yeah, he's already in there signing to you, right? Hi. It explained it to the few folks, and they didn't believe it. But he was persuasive. He had the glimmer. The glimmer? Ones he takes a shining to. It rubs off on you. You can do things. I've never seen it. But they said Ed could walk through walls. Okay. And Ed talked to us all in this. After the first time, we picked one out. Well, not only was the town holding stable, but it was almost like we were getting younger and money came too. So a few of us from back then. Picked? First time? First one in the hole by our own hands. We own up to that, we do. I was there. I was too. You throw them in the hole? They're feeding him? He's hungry, like you wouldn't believe. Every few months, so he starts signing. And it's someone turn to find someone. Was that what you were doing here the other night? No. What happened the other night was a shame. One of our number broke the rules. And he had to pay up. That was a hard thing to do. I think I'm gonna be sick. We never pick none who's gonna be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, and delinquents. You've been a... Oh god, oh no! How many people have died down here? Cassie? The hearted kid? All he was gonna contribute to society? Except a bunch of grown up with no dad? was a rap sheet a mile long before whatever said he'd end up wind up at we did him a favor you you killed Casey oh my god we don't we don't use that word you know he was taking up business in the with his cousin right sorry I'm I'm like what my mind is blown right now give me a sec I need a sip of coffee You know what happened to his cousin? Burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded. They had to wear a hazmat suit when they cleaned him up. That's where Casey was headed. You killed Casey. And you want to act like we didn't do him this whole town a favor? Oh god, Casey's been down here the whole time. His parents put up posters. 
Maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to this. Which one of you did it? Greg. He was my friend. Whoa. We got weapons up. Throw it down right now or I will shoot. Heh. <laughs> what if I get you first? Bullet sticking right in your eye. Bang. Bang. <laughs> you brought guns down here? Dangerous this far out in the woods, night at night, base safety. I, I. Throw it down, son. Don't make this our time. Greg. Dang it. You're monsters. None of this, none of this is happening. We are not. We are not monsters. We do it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this, Possum Spring survives. Things can get better. These mines are gonna be humming again someday. Our middle is puffing smoke. The kids don't understand that. We lost our world. It was built around us. You used to provide for a family that brought a house. Now you're stocking shelves at the grocery store. Kids are leaving more than they're staying. No opportunity here. Old people dying. Houses left empty. You ever see that? A home become a tumbled in pile of wood and disaster. A job become a burned out brick and box or a hole in the ground. But we can change all of this. We can put this place back together. Where it won't just be. Shapes. Shapes. I'm going to die down here. Go get a mash. Scython, no. Why are you telling us all of this? Because we're getting old. Even if we want, with the fringe benefit of good health, we need new blood to carry this on when we're gone. Really? You're like pitching us on this? Were any of us, even, were any of you even miners back in the day? Any of you hurting now financially like? Or is this just some big costume party murder club? Or is someone shitty boss who's afraid of dying? That don't matter. Huh. <laughs> it does. This is real bad. This is insane. Why should we help you? Because of no one here, no one is here to do this. You remember the flood f a few years back? You remember the blizzard of 2010? That's what happens. And beyond that, the job never come back. The kids never come back. Everything crumbles, Possum Springs bleeds to death, and soon we'll all be dead in this town we'll just be friends and trees I've seen it no you have I'll understand if you need some time to think this over so we can leave no one's gonna stop you but you'll understand that you don't know who we are out there but we know who you all are Ain't fair they've been getting to leave and I probably got a <laughs> permit damage. Shut it, Eddie. You don't know a thing about what he wants. What he is. Eddie, I swear to God. Let's go. Yeah, let's seriously get out of here. Son, you leave that crossbow. Wait, why? Well, I could bullshit you. But the truth is, I just don't trust you. Fine, whatever. It's a piece of shit anyways. Heh <laughs> heh. Ah, I can't move you guys. I'll carry you. I have no idea what to even think about any of this. <laughs> I just tore her. It's not the word I'd use to get often. 
That's all I've got left. Like, everything in my head is gone. Let's get out of here fast. I don't know if I... Shh. Talk later. Okay, I'm gonna have to put you down for a sec, okay? Okay. So, Casey. Yeah. I. Yeah. And for what? I think I get it. Wow, really? Too tired to explain it right, but like... They lost what they thought was gonna happen. Which was what that happened like a long time ago. Or they... How they remember or like picture it and the things it gave them. It's okay seeing that kid at our fest and sorry I lost it. That's more sense than I can make of it. They're sad. It's all really sad. You ready to go again, Angus? Yep, sorry. Wait, everybody shut up. What? Shh, I thought I... He's got me! Kick him! <laughs> Just keep kicking that face! Oh my gosh, is he gonna get to... Oh. <gasps> it's Ant Mall Cop! Was that Ant Mall Cop? Get out of town, or was that mom? That might have been mom. The hair. Ooh. Holy shit. Is everyone okay? Meh, meh, are you okay? Meh. <laughs> meh, say something. Hey. Uh, uh. Meh? Uh. Manic laughter. Well, and now she's losing it. No, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I've got you. I've got you. He's gone now. Shit. How are we going to get out of here? Shh. Give her a minute. Give her a minute. I feel the air coming from somewhere. So we're not going to suffocate. Okay. okay. Well, that's a relief. How do you, how do you? I was a scout, Greg. I was a scout. Hey, Angus. Yeah. I love you. Duh. Welcome back, May. You okay? Better now that I almost got murdered again. Which is weird. Huh? That was like the third time in two days. Third time's a charm. Guys, the air's coming back from up here. Alright, I'm up. You sure? Yeah, I think I can walk at least. It's aborted up a uh, long time ago. Can we get through? Yeah, let's find out. Let's get out of here. I'm not afraid. Yep, that's some fresh air, all right. And water. Dude, that's amazing. You can smell water. Hopefully it's not a river. Cave okay, rivers are death traps. Mine river. We're in the mine. Right. Hmm. I can see the water. I think we're going to die in that one foot of water. Right, I don't think we're gonna die too. I didn't think I'd enter the cosmos when I ran in that water, but you know. I know what you are now. I know what you are now. I think I knew before, but you know. After I've sent that kid to the hospital years ago, they said I had an anger problem. But that's not true. I was angry because of something else. 
something I'd lost. Trying so hard not to be angry. Got me all defenseless. And I lost more. And I and got more and more. That's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college. On the bus I had this dream. Or maybe I saw it at the window. Last leaf on the tree. Finally blown off. I'm so scared all the time. And the fear hurts. Feeling like everything is over. It was over long before I got here. So long hiding. Oh my gosh, the voice acting, guys. <laughs> We're trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop until I die. But when I die, I want it to hurt. When my friends leave. When I have to let go. When I, this entire town is wiped off the map. I want it to hurt bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off and everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again. And if I want it to hurt because it means something, it meant something. It means I'm something at least. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something at least. Cthulhu language bullshit. You know I can't understand you, right? Oh, shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end. But I don't need this to save me forever. I just need this to save me for now. So if you're gonna kill me right here, then do it. Not... Nay. Do it, do okay. Whoa! Gotta sleepwalk in there for a second. Want me to carry you? No, I think I'm good. I'm just very tired. Hang in there for a bit. You need to. You need to. We're safe. Uh huh. Hey, there's a light over there. Did you smell that? Bet he did. I had to see if it was possible. <laughs> had to see if it was possible. What is this? Might be a vent or something. Keep the miners from suffocating way back when. Looks old enough at least. For sure. Hello. Hello. What's out here? Don't ask us why, please. Could get lucky and someone's out there in the woods at night. I could try to make it out. No, I can like. Okay, yeah. Are you up for this? Yeah. I mean, I'm like all hyper now. Like dolphins. Hyper like dolphins. No, like when your body is like, whoa, I almost died. You get all hyper because you feel the dolphins. Okay, I'm seriously confused. Are you okay, May? Endor uh, endorphins. Ah, okay. There, thank you. Okay, well. Ride those dolphins all the way out of here. Ugh. That's assuming I could even do this. Well, we'll watch. Okay. Did I win? Oh my gosh, it's the well from the dream. This place, huh? Hey, man. Charm? Yeah. What are you doing out here? I live right up the hill. I heard Greg yelling. We're all down there. We're stuck. 
You were at the bottom of the well in my backyard? It's been a really bad night. <laughs> Sounds like it. Got any rope or something? Yeah. Can't you go get it? <laughs> hey, May. Yeah. Was that Jeb? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What's he doing out here? He lives here. In the woods? <gasps> My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I brought some sodas. You're the, You're the best germ. We need some sugar. The caffeine. Oh, uh, anyone want to get far away from this well? Yep. Sure. You could, like, I don't know, seal up this well. Oh. I got dynamite! A what? Yeah, I mean, I can get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean, not small. Okay, that works. Thanks, Jim. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Oh, okay. Bye, guys. There goes a weird guy. He saves our lives. Jerm is a good man. Jerm is a good man. It strikes me that we just murdered all of those dudes down there. How'd you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator's broken and we caused a cave-in. It was self-defense. I guess, but we did cause the death of like a dozen guys. No, 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 they're all still alive down there. Oh, God. Yeah. Jeez. Well, we'll blame us. They attacked us. One of them attacked us. So, we're worrying about, like... It's morally gray. <laughs> we're not murderers. Like, if we had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. I would have. <laughs> uh, what? They, like, killed people. They were, like, trying to get us to kill people. Screw them. I didn't even believe in the hell, in hell, and I, and I hope they go straight there. Jeez, I guess. Well, that's what I think, at least. Hmm, this is really, like, that trolley thing. What trolley thing? Okay, I'll explain if we keep walking. Hey guys. Uh, are you there? Anyone? Okay, I'm gonna type anyway. Hard for me to say anything smart here, but... What the hell even just happened? Easy for me to get it all the hell out of here. And I need to talk. If you jerks are gonna do off, whatever. None of us asked for any of this. And it didn't happen because we're like special or anything. You can work as hard as you want, but the universe is gonna keep doing what it does. And I don't think any of us deserve all of this. This is all the stuff that started long before we were born. It's all like moving so fast and you're just dropped into it and you're just trying to grab onto something. All of what you were what kept from floating off tonight. Oh my gosh, this is a lot. Also, you gotta kill that guy to save me. Don't think I didn't appreciate that, lol. I don't know if I'm ever gonna understand what the <laughs> what all just happened. I hope it stopped. I just ho I just feel right now like all I want to do is wrap my arms around all of you. Not just because I love you, but just because to keep you all with me. Wrap you in a big ball so no one can hurt us. Sorry, I'm rambling. Jerb, buddy. Jerb, you don't even use Messenger. <laughs> I guess I'm just typing wherever you're at. 
Be, you're definitely something. I'm sorry about all you've gone through. I just don't even understand all of your problems. But if I could, I'd fix them. I'd fix all of it. But I'd buy you tools. But I'd buy the tools to do it from your store. Or I'd borrow them at least. I better fuck. Jesus fucking Christ, my lungs, guys. I'm gonna need surgery after this. I'm gonna have to get polyps removed. A better friend would buy. <laughs> but I'm what you got. And I'm glad. Yep, there it is. Now I'm just gonna erase all of that. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, guys, I was just kidding about a lot of that. I'm really tired of what I'm saying. Fuck off me. Fuck off. I might push. Give me a sec. Let's. Boy message. It's good to be alive this morning. That's all. <laughs> hey, man. Nice messages last night. Hey, I mean, like, really. Your massive dork, lol. Band practice today. Because I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at Snarkin. Hope you're feeling okay, sincerely, Gregory. Hey, May. You okay this morning? I'm not opening at the pickaxe today. Greg informed me that we're doing band practice, though. I'll see you there. Alright, guys. Since it's band practice, I'm gonna have to cut it off here. I'm not pursuing this. That's horrible. This is Violent Games, signing off. <laughs>